a month ago, yesterday, uh, Hamas uh, launched a horrific attack against innocent lives in Israel. And every day since then, we've seen violence and uh, horrific images of families, elderly, mothers, children killed. We're watching it on TV every night, seeing it all over our social media, and Canadians are hurting and crying out that it needs to stop. This is why we are calling for a humanitarian pause. A humanitarian pause is going to allow all the hostages to be released, allow us to continue doing the work of getting all foreign nationals out of Gaza. We got 75 of 80 Canadians out yesterday, which is solid progress, but there is so much more to do. And a pause long enough to start not just getting aid in, but getting resources and medication and supports while we begin doing the work of de-escalating the situation, and not just in Gaza, but in the West Bank, where there's increasing violence, danger of it spreading into Lebanon, and where we actually start doing the work of the real heavy lifting that's going to be required to get back on track to a two-state solution, to start imagining what the long-term future of a viable Palestinian state looks like, safe, secure, beside a safe, secure, viable, and successful in, uh, Israeli state. This is what we need to get to, and every day that we continue to see uh, suffering of, of thousands of millions of people makes it harder to get to that end state.